In agribusiness today, the Mosaic Company says it plans to buy a Florida-based phosphate operation from CF Industries. The deal is worth over a billion dollars. The Minnesota-based company would acquire a 22,000-acre phosphate mine and a manufacturing plant in Central Florida and a terminal in Tampa. Phosphate is a key ingredient in fertilizer. Mosaic produces about 8 million tons of phosphate annually. This would increase production by nearly 2 million tons. In other news, the Federal Reserve is meeting this week. Traders want to know if the board will change its current position on bond purchases to shore up the economy. Farm Director Al Pell has more in this morning's analysis. Here at the Agribusiness Desk, we're talking to Greg Hunt, Archer Financial Services. Greg, you and I have talked off camera, and I've heard this comment used a lot, and that is intermarket spreads. And apparently, the volume of the market is not very high right now, but that's where the guys are involved. Yeah, I'm just seeing more of that probably, you know, right now. When you get a situation where there's a lot of unknowns out there, but we know those unknowns are going to be right. satisfied, you know, pretty soon, you know, guys just going to stick their hands in the pocket and walk away and or there's a lot of guys that, you know, maybe are trading a lot smaller positions and, and you know, we're seeing, you see the action in between the wheat corn spreads, the wheat bean spreads and the, uh, and the uh, and those things are you know showing us you know on any given day that's where the action is and uh, guys are selling the weak links buying the strong link but you know the markets uh, you know they're really not doing a whole lot obviously in the corn market wheat's at its times had it had some nice action but it's notoriously probably going to fail on another breakout like always and. And then the bean market, uh, you know, has flirted with the 50-day moving average this week, and and we'll see if uh, you know gets above it or below it before this November report. Well, the outside markets have been doing pretty good. Looked to me like uh, some of that money that used to be in uh, yeah. in the commodities and now went to the outside markets and they're trading other products. Well, there's risk off worldwide. You know, oh. you're seeing some of these major banks, you know, trying to pull the plug on the commodity business, right. like J.P. Morgan and others. Uh, which is probably a good thing. I don't think banks should be that involved. But that said, um, you know, the, the not being able to taper, taking that off the table, having this, you know, deal in Washington shut down, you know, cutting back on GDP somewhat, you know, at least the psychology is, is that the Fed's not going to start cutting back on bond purchases like we thought they were in September. Yeah. It probably ain't going to happen until the first, end of the first or, or into the second quarter of next year. So those currency markets that are the most exposed in the second and uh, third tier area around the world, it got a breather. But the Brazils, the Indonesias, Turkey, and a lot of others are still going to have their massive problems, and you know they're going to have to uh, fight that with uh, uh, supporting their currency with a massive amount of money. Thank you very much, Greg Hunt, our guest here at Ag Day. Back with more in a moment. For your futures, options, cash, and insurance needs, call Greg Hunt today at 312-752-7213.